Justice with Judge Maybelline will be life because in everything we do, it involves the law. You came to court to testify about what you heard, what you saw, and what you know. She's fair. I don't have a hearing problem. This ear works good, this one works even better. She's firm. I'm not responsible for that ticket and I'm not gonna pay for it. Who says you're not gonna pay for it? I make that decision, not you. She's honest. What you have to say? All I have to Nothing. say. <laughs> this is Justice with Judge Maybelline. Jessica Chu is suing Bryant O'Hara in the amount of $1,000. Ms. Chu claims she hired Mr. O'Hara as a consultant to increase her business and social media presence and says he failed to deliver as promised. This is the matter of Jessica Chu versus Bryant O'Hara and you want him to pay you $1,000. Yes, that's right. And why? Um, I paid for consulting services. I had to pay everything up front, and I feel like he did not deliver all the services that he promised me. What was the consulting service? Um, well, it's for, um, it's a business consulting. So what I have is I have a business I've been having, I do, I, six years I've been doing this. Um, I first started out um, just as helping out my friends who are um, selling um, jewelry and um, small sculptures. And eventually I made that into a business where I sell it, I've sold it to friends and family and then I grew that into selling it at uh, crafts and little trade shows. And then I was able to lucky enough get into certain galleries, um, local galleries around town. So I've built my business from nothing, helping out friends to actually creating a business. And so I want to now take my business to the next level which is online e-commerce business. I knew that my strong points is really more dealing with people and you know the more creative art end of it. Um, technical is not my strong point, so I hired, I wanted to hire a consultant to help me create a website and really take my business to the next level within the e-commerce, that realm of the world. Okay, so when you say take my business to the next level, what did you expect and what did you ask this consultant to do? Um, well, what he, what I wanted to do was to be able create to create a website. I got that. Create what a else? website. Um, well, I want to increase my business. That's the bottom line. Um, I wanted more exposure. Um, I needed the expertise of somebody who knew the marketing, social media marketing, um, to tell me strategies on how to market my products online. And the reason why I chose him is because it actually says on here on the website, on his website, it says. He helps um, with e-commerce consulting, um, social media consulting, okay. marketing. Um, he does a weekly um, Social online... media consulting and marketing. Did yeah. he set you up some social media, uh, a social media platform? Um, he did, but it didn't do what it was supposed to do. It What's didn't it really... supposed to do? Well, he promised me that it was gonna drive um, uh, viewership and eventually that'll lead to business two times, maybe even triple the time, you know, triple fold of the business, but it actually And did he has... say over what period of time? No, we did not. No, he did not, but okay. my contract with him is three months, so he said, don't worry, in three months, we'll get you up and running and you should be good to go. Three we months, you're up We did in two months, Your Honor. Hi, stop, would you stop Sorry, running? Sorry, I apologize. Three months, you'll be up and running. Yes, that was the contract length is three months, um, and in the beginning... This is just his ad, where's his contract? Oh, sorry. The contract is here, and the contract it says that um, he's also to provide um, inform, you know, information and just really his insight on how to strategize and how to run an e-commerce business. And I feel like he didn't do that. He, he started off um, helping me, and then towards the end, especially after a month, um, he really wasn't answering my emails or texts when you know, there would be bugs and, and problems with the website. Um, it was really hard to get a hold of him. I'd leave him two, three messages, I'd text him, I would uh, email him, I wasn't getting any response, um, and then pretty much after the three months contract period was over, he became a ghost. I just, I never heard back from him again. Okay, let me hear your side. So it's a three month contract. Uh, there's a business model that uh, Mrs. Chu signed up for that dictates uh, the recital say that we will offer her our services within that three month time frame, which is why at the end of that period she became ornery, uh, was communicating erratically at random weird off hours, uh, texting me personally, and uh, in my line of work and what we do, we've got to draw a fine line of where we will help and what we can do per the services components of the recitals. You'll see that right there. We will assist in the creation of the website. We're not going to handhold while a web website's created. We don't build websites. So I delivered on what was promised per our agreement, and um, I refused to pay the amount that she What do you to have pay. to do to increase web store traffic flow? 
So the way our model works is over the three month period, what she agreed to, um, throughout taking our classes and um, uh, basically following through on what success has worked over the period for our other clients, uh, that turns into more viewers, more followers, um, increased traffic to the website. Mrs. Chu stopped using our services after two months. Coming up on Justice with Judge Maybelline. He said, don't worry about it. I, I, I know, you know, I know what I'm doing. So that I, was I a sales pitch. You haven't heard of a sales pitch? Don't worry I about have. it. I have. <laughs> She's expecting one-on-one -on -one coaching. No, it's not what was no, offered. It's not I what she signed up for. And later. Yeah, so we were all snowboarding down together. Um, this was after I'd already taught um, Jenna everything on the bunny slope. So we were about a third of the way down, and I was teach somebody everything on the bunny slope in one in one hour. You didn't teach her everything; you showed her some things. Justice with Judge Maybelline. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, call one eight 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 five five two six eight seven eight. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. We're back with the case of Jessica Chu who is suing Bryant O'Hara for breach of contract. How do you increase web traffic flow? How are you gonna do that for? Well, I, what I can do is I can advise on what works well for our clients. Okay, so I can't what tell you tell her, her what directly. worked well for her? The well, kind of business she was in. So in her line of work, what it takes is a, a daily discipline of updating and engaging with your audience. She refused to do updating that. Updating what? Her, both her website and her social media sites. We, you know, told her to, to consistently post articles based on her expertise in her field. She became, um, at that point, uh, felt it was too overwhelming and wanted us to do it for her. And there's a three-tier system that we offered our clients. She signed up for the first tier, which is why the cost was $1,000. Okay, what's the insider business strategies and tips? What'd you tell her? So again, that's an aggregate of uh, success stories and various um, practices that have worked well for clients in the past. Uh, Millions Bottom dollars line of is just a whole bunch of cockamamie bull is what he sold. No, I mean, he yeah, didn't it's, say it's, it's worked, anything, got, it's and it was just a whole lot of, clients, of promises and idle words, which he could not guarantee anything. The only thing that he could do is help, help set you up on these sites. But once he sets you up, you have to keep it running, and you have to keep it moving. And he can't guarantee web flow to your uh, website. He that can't true. guarantee that, um, that you will get new people coming to your social media site. But from the beginning, what I expressed to him was that I need to have a consultant who can actually advise me based on the expertise. And that's what he claimed. He, he said that he has expertise in business. And my concern was also, I'm in a very specific business, jewelry, sculpture, you know, it's 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 a little bit specific, and he said, "Don't worry about it. I I, I know you know I know what I'm doing." So that I, was I a sales pitch. You haven't heard of a sales pitch? Don't worry. I about have. It. I <laughs> She's expecting one-on-one -on -one coaching. No, it's not what's no, offered. It's not I what she signed up for. Also, he did promise um, these online courses on e-commerce business and um, information, uh, wealth of business, on how to how to make it successful. And those links, Your Honor, uh, when you click through, it just turned out to be a generic. Let me tell you something. It was a generic. This is just. A bunch of generic bull. That's that's what he gave me, a generic B S. And but that's not what he promised but me on the But You also have unreason unrealistic expectations. Thank you. Because no business person can promise you that people are going to go to your website and your business is going to increase. Because he has absolutely no control over that. How can he promise you that a thousand people are gonna hit your website per month? And, you, but, and you'll be able that, to advertise, you'll get at least a thousand hits. How can he promise that? Unless he keeps hitting you a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> I get that, but that's what he promised me because I told him I'm not really internet savvy on that part. I needed a consultant. That's why I hired, that's why I spent a thousand dollars. But here's what, here's what you don't understand. When you hire a consultant, you consulted, he built the website, he put you up on all these programs. Now you have to continue it and develop it. But my biggest problem is like things that he set up, things that he told me to do, it didn't work. Click-throughs didn't work, buttons didn't work, and he complains that I'm, you know, I'm so texting So now you're it talking about that he did not set you up properly, no, that didn't. in terms of the web design, he, it was not well. No, and after a month, I think, you know, he just decided he was gonna move on. You know, maybe I was too small of a client because it was really difficult to reach him. At first, when he was trying to... Uh, okay, th th these are difficult decisions, but the problem is, um, in none of these agreements does he promise you that your business will grow to any extent, to any particular extent. But as a consultant, 
I expected to receive his expertise in my field, and it wasn't. He would just give me generic, just generic. How uh, do you know it's just generic if you don't know it at all? Well, he would just tell me, go post on Pinterest, go post on, um, you know, Instagram, yeah. go post. But in terms of posting, he didn't tell me maybe perhaps this time frame would be better. I mean, I, he would not give me more specifics. When, and I would ask him, well, what's a better, like, you know, according to his matrix, all his research, what would be the better time, better, the, as a consultant, he should know that. Is and, there a better time frame to post than, absolutely. than another? Absolutely. You didn't answer those questions? No, he, 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 no. No, he, ignored, he would ignore me when I would no. ask him. No. And isn't there, isn't there a particular way that you would um, market her product then you would market my product Oh, 100 percent, absolutely so you didn't tell her how to market her product versus marketing your product sure yeah what did you tell her to do to, to market her product we, i told her to first find her age demographic that question alone threw her in how did you tell her how you find your age demographic how, how to, to did you tell her how to do that oh find your age demographic current, did you tell survey. her how to find the age demographic yes we did how uh, using surveys and to inquire with their current clients. And where you get the surveys from? There's a, we have, there's a free online service you can See, use. See, it's just a whole bunch of crap. It's a free online service. He, yeah. he would just give yeah. me a generic link to everything, and you, I didn't you, know how you to didn't, find you, it. you didn't do anything. You just use a no, whole lot no, of generalities. You talked in a whole lot of generalities. I, I proof she was in my online. <laughs> Sorry, I Your have Honor. given you every opportunity through the questions I've asked you, and I'm not even tech savvy. I'm probably the, well, I'm pretty good um, at some things. But I've given you every opportunity to talk technicality and tell me about building her brand and putting her in the e-commerce and how it helps build her brand and marketing. And you haven't said one thing other than a generality. You just stole her money. You know how to build a website, perhaps. That's about it. But you didn't do anything on branding she and marketing. She joined our online class. You didn't do anything about branding and marketing. It didn't, you didn't do it. That's you, not true. 100% not true. You didn't, couldn't even so how everything, could you answer her? Everything oh, that we get a woman back five hundred dollars. Just for the plaintiff. Judge Maybelline has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay five hundred dollars. Well, I think since you only delivered to me fifty percent of what you promised me, I think the decision was completely fair that I was awarded five hundred dollars. I think you were delivered ten times the value it was promised, and you're welcome. No, it's not even close. I've got to go in and rehire somebody to redo the whole thing all over again. Coming up. She yelled at me and she broke up with me right before it. Um, right she before told me what? Because she felt, I'm assuming, because she felt betrayed that I left her and she I broke her broke arm. I broke up with him in the hospital. Justice with Judge Maybelline. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. Jenna Martins is suing Chris Millens in the amount of $1,000. Ms. Martins claims her ex-boyfriend is to blame for her snowboarding injury after he ditched her halfway down the mountain, knowing she had little experience. In the matter of Jenna Martins versus Chris Millens, you're suing him for $1,000 for medical expenses incurred? Yes, Your Honor. Tell me what happened. Uh, Chris was my boyfriend. He planned an anniversary trip for our two-month anniversary. We were going to go snowboarding. I told him that I'm not athletic, I've never gone snowboarding before, and that I was very nervous about the trip. But he assured me that we were going to stay on just the bunny hills and that he'd be there with me the whole time to keep me safe. He was going to teach me how. Um, that obviously didn't happen. He uh, had me go up to the very top of the mountain and then left me halfway down. And on my personal descent, I fell and broke my arm. And where did he go when he left you at the top? We got about a third of the way down the mountain, his friend Anna, who was accompanying us on this trip, met us partially and passed us, and he went off to follow her and left me to make my own way down the mountain. Well, what happened to this an anniversary trip for the two of you? How did yeah. Anna get in the picture? She was already talking about going up to the mountain. I figured it would be a good idea to carpool. Um, looking back on it now. When did you figure this out? Before or after you had asked Jenna to go? Uh, this was after. This was, this was the last minute thing. But then what happened? Yeah, so we were all snowboarding down together. Um, this was after I'd already taught um, Jenna everything on the bunny slope. So we were about a third of the way down. And I was- teach somebody everything on the bunny slope in one, in one hour. You didn't teach her everything. You showed her some things, but- I mean, I, yeah, I taught her how to turn, how to stop. Um, but it doesn't mean you've comprehended and you've mastered it because you showed her how. She's never mm -hmm. been on a snowboard. Coming up. She yelled at me and she broke up with me right before it. Um, right she before told me, what? 
because she felt, I'm assuming because she felt betrayed that I left her and she I broke her broke arm. I up with him in the hospital. Closed captioning provided by. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. We're back with the case of Jenna Martins, who is suing Chris Millens for medical expenses. And then what happened? Yeah, she seemed to be doing very well there. Um, so I decided, you know, I thought she was doing well enough that she could handle the rest of it. So I went on ahead. I told her, I told her as I was going ahead that I would go back up, meet her down the mountain again, and then we would continue from there. But you went on down and left her in the middle of the slope. Yes. Um, yeah, we were going slowly enough that I didn't think it was going to be leave a problem. Her? Because I thought she could handle it. Uh-uh, that's not why you left her. Why you, why'd you decide to leave? It's a mix of that, and Anna pressured me to go on ahead. But this is your date. This is the person you invited. This yeah. is the person you have this romantic something going on, but he just, ooh. I, I know that hurt you, didn't it? Didn't feel great. <laughs> she also, she... She yelled at me and she broke up with me right before it. Um, right before she told me what? Because she felt, I'm assuming, because she felt betrayed that I left her and she I broke her broke arm. I broke up with him in the hospital. Yes. Oh, you mean yeah. after you were hurt? After I was, yeah. And laying there in pain? Yeah. Yeah, after he left you to go chasing after Anna? Yes. I'll admit that it's poor judgment, but let me also bring up that we didn't, we didn't sign any contracts or anything. We went into this. Your I Honor, mean, I, I do have actually no. a text conversation uh, between no, no, us. No, 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 no. Let him get it out of the system. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying that I'm not... Yes, I, I'll admit that I've done things poorly, but I'm not her, I wasn't her official ski instructor. I brought her out to what I thought was going to be a great time. It didn't go so well. I did tell her that I'd be willing to pay for part of the bill, but she wouldn't settle on that. She would only settle on me paying the entire $1,000. Judge Maybelline's verdict when Justice with Judge Maybelline returns. Promotional consideration provided by. You're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. I've heard your argument. I disagree. I believe you made a promise. It didn't have to be in writing. That she justifiably relied upon that promise as a result of justifiably relying upon your promise to her to be there with her, she was hurt through no fault of her own. You breached your contract and you owe her. That's the way I feel. Mm -hmm. That's the law in these circumstances. All promises don't have to be in writing. Wait. But if you make me a promise, and based upon that promise, I rely upon that promise, and I justifiably rely upon that promise, and I do something I would not have done but for that promise, and then you break that promise, you owe me the results of the, the consequences of you breaking your promise. In this instance, you owe her $1,000 judgment for the plaintiff. Judge Maybelline has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant has been ordered to pay $1,000. I thought you cared more about me. You need to keep your promises next time. I just wanted to push you so you could try something new. I'm really sorry. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.